you used to be a member of a group called the Young Communist, didn't you? Senator, uh, are you referring to my membership in the Youth Communist Organization while I was growing up in the Soviet Union? I don't know. I, was, I just I wanted to ask you that question. Well, Senator, I... There, there was a group called the Young Communists, and you were a member. Is that right? I'm not exactly sure which group you're referring to. Well, the formal name of it is the Leninist Communist Young Union of the Russian Federation, and it's also known as the Leninist Komsomol of the Russian Federation, and it's commonly referred to as the Young Communists. Were you a member? Senator, I was born and grew up in the Soviet Union. Yes, ma'am, but were you a member of that organization? Everybody in that country was a member of the Komsomol, which was the communist youth organization, because so, so you that were, was... you were a member? That was a part of normal progress in yes, school. Um, did you... Have you resigned? From the... Youth? From the young communists? You grow out of it with age, automatically. Did, did you... Did you, did you send them a letter, though, resigning? Senator, this was many, many years ago, as far as I remember how the Soviet Union worked, was at certain age, you automatically stop being a well, member could, of the Well, could you look at your records and see if you can find a copy uh, of your... Senator record? Kennedy, I don't, I don't interrupt. I almost never interrupt these, but... Well, you always best, interrupt well, me, Mr. No, Trump. actually, I don't. I'm, not I nearly pursue, as many times I as I'd like to. No, I, I, she, she renounced her Soviet citizenship. Well, I understand that, there. but you're not the witness. She is. Would you look at your records and see if you can find a, a letter of resignation for me? Senator, um, as I explained... I was part of the Soviet population. Yes, ma'am. I got that part. I just want to see if you look at your records and see if you find a letter of resignation. Let, let, me, let me tell you what. I've spent a lot of time on your record, and, and here's what I found. Look, this is America. You can believe what you want, but we can't just let anybody be controller of the currency. You wrote your thesis in college at Moscow State University on, the title was Karl Marx's Economic Analysis and the Theory of Re Revolution in the Capital. But you won't send Senator Toomey a copy. You studied at university, at Moscow State University, scientific communism, which is the science regarding the working class struggle and the socialist agenda. In 2019, not 30 years ago, in a Canadian documentary, you called the financial services industry, quote, a quintessential asshole industry. Um, you wrote a paper called Systemically S Significant Prices, calling for the federal government to set wages, food, gas prices. In 2020, you wrote a paper called The People's Ledger, where you said we need to abolish bank accounts and make everybody set up an account at the Fed where the federal government will have access to your data. In 2020, you wrote another paper called The Climate Case for a National Investment Authority, where you said what we need to do, the oil and gas industry, is have the federal government bankrupt them so we can tackle climate change. In 2019, you joined a Facebook group, a Marxist Facebook group, to discuss socialist and anti-capitalist views. Now, that's what I see from your record. And you have the right to believe every one of these things. You do. This is America. But I don't mean any disrespect. I, I don't know whether to call you professor or comrade. Senator, I'm not a communist. I do not subscribe to that ideology. I could not choose where I was born. I did not, I do not remember joining any Facebook group that subscribes to that ideology. I would never knowingly join any such group. 
There is no record of me ever actually participating in any Marxist or communist discussions of any kind. My family suffered under the communist regime. I grew up without knowing half of my family. My grandmother herself escaped death twice under the Stalin regime. This is what seared in my mind. That's who I am. I remember that history. I came to this country. I'm proud to be an American. And this is why I'm here today, Senator. I'm here today because I'm ready for public service. Thank you, Professor. I, uh, I check with my staff, Senator Kennedy. I've never interrupted you or uh, they believe anybody. Well, that's not true, Mr. Chairman. And I'm entitled to ask my questions. And, and you were. And you were. I didn't interrupt you when you gave your introduction. And I don't like being interrupted when I'm asking I, my questions. Senator Kennedy, I heard. It's called heard, senatorial courtesy. I understand that. And there's also senatorial courtesy. And you may disagree treating, with me. Treating, that's why you no. have five minutes and I have five minutes. Senator Kennedy, I, senatorial courtesy is also not doing character assassination. I heard Senator Scott. Well, that's your opinion. 30 Jared. minutes that's ago. That's my opinion. 30 I mean, minutes ago, I heard Senator Scott. Me, but I'm entitled to answer questions without you interrupting me. You and I don't agree. I still like you. We're friends. <laughs> you have the right to your opinion, but I've got the right to so, mine. And you can't just interrupt me when I'm asking my question. You still got a full, five, like you still got a full five minutes. And you've Senator done it before. Scott, Senator Scott, just a moment ago, said nobody on his side has done any kind of communist insinuation of her character and her background. He just said that, so I'm hopeful that Senator Scott and maybe perhaps Senator Tillis or Senator Toomey or Senator Kramer will call out those people that do character well, do you not think Senator, relevant Senator to Warren is a member of the Young Communists? I, I'm, I'm not here to answer your question, Senator Kennedy. Senator Warren is recognized for five minutes from Massachusetts. 